Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to how to create blur vocals and uh, how to blur anything actually. So in this video, you'll pretty much hear and see how to do this kind of thing happening, where it's kind of like a gradual pickup on um, not so easy to hear vocal. And uh, yeah, so I kind of do that as a little pickup transition kind of thing, and uh, really helps with you know creating some new kind of transitions and drops and you know stuff like that. Really helps your production. So I'm gonna get on with that. Let me start fresh here. I'm gonna go to new. I'll start fresh so you don't see how you can see all that you know stuff there going on. And let's start by putting in a vocal. So I'll just take any vocal. I have an acapella folder here. And uh, let's see. Do it yourself vocals. I have here the girl uh, girl I wanna, what I used. Right? Let's just use this. I like this song. Right there, right in that beginning. Let's just use that little beginning piece. I'm going to cut that off right away kill that and we're gonna make this unique so we have just this popping bottles in the ice like a blizzard when we drink we do right so we'll just uh, we'll just use that first part I'm gonna hit this little button here go down to uh, make unique a sample it'll save in my current uh, acapella folder I'll just sure rename it as that I don't mind so now we just have this. If I stretch it, there's nothing else there. Really small file. Okay, let's go on and we're going to go to edit sample. This is where we start to blur things out. Let me start off by deleting all the empty space. Right? And what we could do now is we can just right click here or go to our tools. I like to right click tools and then uh, go all, to, all the way to the spectral uh, category here. And we're going to blur. Cha-ching. And we're going we're gonna to listen to this first, see what it sounds like. Right? Sounds kind of like that. So I like to bring this all the way to the top, and I kill the middle point. So now we just have a gradual blur and envelope happening. Okay, so this is what it sounds like now. And that sounds really good. I like that. And you can change the amount by just moving this knob. So, you know, it's doing some crazy uh, horror movie sound effects if you'd like. Essentially, it's a reverb happening. And let's just choose that. There's also some other cool effects. I will show you how to do that. But now we have this little thing happening. And now we need to save that. So save it in the same thing. I'll just put pop it. There we go. So now we have it here. Just drag it in. And now we can kind of do this kind of thing. Popping bottles in the ice. It's a really cool effect. I like to, you know, keep it long and really hard to understand. Kind of like what I just showed you in the intro. There we go. Here's that long sustained blur. Right now, let me show you some cool effects. I'll just increase that and bring this. So, okay, so we're on 16. And what you could do, I like to put an echo on it. Little echo there, and I keep it on four four, on four time. Maybe a little cut. Usually don't, but you could. Ping pong effect. Keep the feedback almost all the way up so it sounds like this right so you get that long sustained blur inside of your you know main mix and usually the kick will affect it, so you'll hear a bit of a, uh, you know, a little bit of ducking happening. You can also 
also chop it up. We can also chop it up and we can add the EQ here. Bring the one all the way over there. And then we're going to stop the delay. Go into here. This is our insert effects, right? Then we go all the way down to the peak controller. Unmute it. And now we link to controller. Internal controller, we look for our peak controller, LFO. And we go here. We can leave it like that. Except, so now we mess around with the peak controller. effects for you to try out at home or in the studio um, you know there are no rules to what you do to that but I just wanted to show you how the blur works so thanks again for tuning in I'll see you guys in the next episode and I uh, hope you enjoyed if you, have, if you have any comments or questions or more you know on more tips and stuff like that feel free to leave a comment below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching